Hello everybody, I'm here with Britt Gardner, and she is here to talk about Over the River and Through the Woods that is going to be premiering at the MCT next week. Um, I believe you can get tickets and VIP tickets for the Thursday night premiere, which is happening on, I want to say, the 9th? Yes, Thursday. Yes. Yep. I'm not good with dates, but um, I know that you also were in a couple MCT shows as well. You played Princess Fiona in the Shrek the Musical, which I thought was one, one of uh, MCT's better shows for sure. Um, it, that is a joy. It was so much fun. <laughs> yeah. But we're here to talk about your new play which, in which you're in um, Over the River and Through the Woods. And what can people expect from it? Because I did ask the question about it. Like, hey, is it like a bunch of fairy tales? And like, it's totally not. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so the title is actually, uh, you have to think about the next lyric of the song. Over the River and Through the Woods, to grandmother's house we go. Uh, it takes place in Hoboken, New Jersey in the early 90s and we have Nick who's 29 um, and is in town and his four grandparents, paternal and maternal, um, he shares dinner with them. Once a week, always has, his parents have moved to Florida, his sister's gone away, so it's just him and his grandparents. Um, but he gets a promotion to move to Seattle and his grandparents try to figure out a way to make him stay in Hoboken. So, and they try many different ways uh, to do this, but of course the main way is where your character comes in. Yes, uh, guilt only goes so far. Uh, you have to bring in an actual prop, and so I am in fact brought in as bait, uh, which is always fun, and then hilarity ensues. <laughs> so, uh, so it's a comedy play, played, uh, played in a non-musical way, because this is MCT's like non-musical thing, because mm -hmm. a lot of times MCT does um, uh, four out of five of their plays are musicals, right. and this is their one that's a, a non-musical. So uh, last year they did The Rainmaker, and this is also uh, one that's going to be at the uh, MCT for uh, Theater for, for Performing Arts, is that what they call mm -hmm. it? Yep, in the Missoula Community Theater, yeah. Um, uh, Missoula Community Theater production. Um, so. The coolest thing about this play is, yes, it's a comedy, but I think that the humor actually brings the audience in closer to the characters and it allows a drama and actually larger sense of feeling. So in no way is it a farce, and actually that's the biggest thing we've had to work with. These characters are so absurd, but they're real, like these are real people. And when you try to play it real instead of a caricature, you get these hilarious moments, but interspersed with these moments that are really actually believable and very heartfelt the way that family is they can drive you up a wall but they love you you know all of this is because they love him and they want him to stay and uh, I think that is why this show is such a gem and it's the reason why when I checked out the perusal script I said I, I want to do this so like um, a lot of, like even this play you know like how sometimes like like any sitcom or any kind of like shows like this it's like instead of the direct approach they always have to do the indirect approach or you know like all this kind of craziness and, and it happens and it was like right. you know and then like the son's like what are you doing like you could have just like asked me you know I you know I don't have to take the job or anything like that well well they do though because keep in mind these are four very Italian very straightforward New Jersey grandparents so uh, definitely believe that they have said straight up Nikki don't leave there's a lot of you know you got to stay with your family. So bringing me in as bait is, uh, is actually this kind of creative uh, resort, and they think they are very clever for coming up with it. <laughs> so uh, just uh, let's talk about um, when and where people um, can get more information and how people can get tickets. Yeah. Yes. So you can always get information uh, for MCT Productions at mctinc.org, I do believe. Um, and that would be tickets and all these things. Uh, also, uh, so that premiere night, that VIP night is next Thursday. And then the uh, technical opening is Friday the 10th. So it'll be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, the 10th, 11th, 12th, with two shows Saturday, two shows Sunday. Um, and then for that next week, it'll be starting Wednesday, so Wednesday through Sunday, again with the two Saturday and two Sunday. Yeah, and MCT is such a great uh, resource for a lot of people, yes. not only for the community, but also for the Children's Theater and everyone. Uh, a lot of people from all over the world know all about MCT, and, and like, like I've had conversations with people from like Seattle when I was there. It's yeah. like, oh, I'm from Missoula. It's like, oh, you know the community theater? It's like, oh yeah, they come out here like every summer. We're kind of a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, I, I haven't personally been involved with the children's theater aspect of it, but I think it is unbelievably cool. Um, so it is a privilege to 
do anything with this organization and it, it's definitely a second home. Yeah. I, I love it dearly. And every time, like I, I do play sometimes at MCT and I talk to some of the people because I just I lo love hearing all the stories about MCT yeah. and the history. And it, it was always something new with MCT. Like MCT used to do perform at the Wilma and then they had actually tear down the day before because there was like a concert coming in so they had to do <laughs> yeah. strike like just right away oh, yeah. and they even had to set up the stage probably like the day before yeah so it was ridiculous how things kind of like all worked out and now how they have nice little theater and I really I just like I just love MCT it's mm. such a great thing me too me too yeah and I think that um this play will perpetuate exactly those things that people love about that building and the people who work there um, there's a lot of heart, and it is just, it is a beautiful little show. Um, I'm so excited yep. to, to start. And on that note, uh, you guys got to go check it out. Over the River and Through the Woods happening next week. It's premiering. Um, you guys can get tickets, uh, VIP tickets, on Thursday. You can also go um, to general admission Friday through Sunday, and then, of course, all next, the week after, yep. and it all opens uh, next week. Um, yeah, T totally check it out. Thanks for joining me. So excited. Thanks. Have a good day.